This video is going to look at Dweck's mindset theory of learning. So on your specification, you've got to understand what Dweck's mindset theory of learning is and also what fixed and growth mindset is. So for Dweck's theory, I want you to just think about why are some people successful and why are others not? Now, there's two real thoughts here. Summary, some people might believe that people are born with certain talents, whether that be sporting, intelligence, musical talents. And others believe that talent has very little to do with it. Dweck said the key difference between those who succeed and those who don't was all about mindset. And for the rest of this video, when we use the word mindset, we're thinking of a set of assumptions, what you believe. So we firstly got a fixed mindset. Now, this is where people who believe in a fixed mindset believe that the abilities, such as intelligence, sporting ability, musical ability, is fixed in their genes, that they don't have to work hard at all to succeed. They have all that talent naturally. This means there is nothing you can do to change your ability or your talent. It is all fixed from birth. So if you aren't doing well, these people who have a fixed mindset will usually give up because no amount of effort will change the situation. It won't make them any better, no matter how hard they try. So people with fixed mindsets are usually focused on something called performance goals. And this means that they do and feel good when they're doing well. And people with a fixed mindset often view failure as a lack of talent. If you're not good at something, it's because you lack talent, lack the skill needed. On the other hand, a growth mindset, um, if someone had a growth mindset, they would believe at any time that you can get better. You might not ever become the best potentially, but you can improve bit by bit. And people with a growth mindset believe in effort and enjoy being challenged. And they're usually focused on what we call learning goals. They feel good when they're working hard. And people with a growth mindset believe that ability and success is due to hard work and perseverance. It's not about your natural ability. This is about growing and becoming better at something. And people with a growth mindset will always view failure as an opportunity to grow. You learn from your mistakes, you improve, you change and get better as a result. Now, when it comes to dealing with failure, someone with a fixed mindset, failure is seen as a sign that they're not as good as they thought they were. And they're likely to give up. The success is not about effort. So people with a fixed mindset will often quit something when they start not succeeding or start failing. Whereas someone with a growth mindset will regard failure as an opportunity to learn. Learning will take time and effort. And sometimes this means that you're going to need to ask for help and be prepared to practice and put in all those hours. They'll keep trying. And that keep trying, that effort will always increase the likelihood of success. Now, a nice way to look at this is as a continuum. You're not simply fixed or growth mindset. People are often a mixture of both of them. You may be fixed in one scenario. You may be growth mindset in another. And also, you may be very fixed at one end, all the way to very growth orientated at the other end. So it can change scenario by scenario, sport, music, everything can be a bit different. And we're somewhere along that continuum. 